Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm trying another way of creating games, which is through virtual reality. Before we start, I'd like to ask you guys to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon. So let's get started. And this video is sponsored by Kitaka. So there are different types of realities, one of which is augmented reality. If you'd like to know more about it, you can watch this video I made on how to create an augmented reality app using Unity. But I wanted to make a video of my journey on game development in virtual reality. So I recently obtained an Oculus Quest 2 and wanted to create a simple game, but I haven't decided on what game I would like to create. So once I got the headset, I unboxed it and it looks really clean and nice. The box includes two controllers and the headset along with a charging brick and a cable. But obviously when you get a VR headset, you should try it out first. So it's time for a montage. Alright, alright, the montage is over, let's get back to the video. So I played around with it for about 30 minutes and it was really good and smooth. Although the display was a bit small for me, it's absolutely worth its price point. I've tried other virtual reality headsets before, like the HTC Vive or the PSVR, but in my opinion, this is the most complete VR headset at its price point. This headset actually works with four camera sensors that are on the front panel, and these are used to detect your surroundings. So while setting up your headset, you're going to be asked to draw a rough playable area so the headset can tell you if you're exiting that boundary and colliding with an object. Alright, enough talking, let's get serious. So first, as any other project I'm working on, I search and find some good tutorials which help me learn the basics. So I found one pretty quickly and started following it. After the tutorial finished, it was time to test it out. So I connected my headset to the computer and just followed a few steps, then voila, we have our first working VR game. Alright, now that we know the basics, it's time to try out more interesting features like grabbing objects. So I just started creating a simple scene with some blocks that are interactive. A positive point that I found out while using this VR headset is actually it's really easy to develop on. So once I finished the simple scene, I built the project and waited for it to upload. Oh cool, it's time to test it out. Okay, so this scene was pretty simple. There are just a few objects that are interactable, but after that I wanted to create a really simple carnival game where you knock down the pins by throwing a ball. So basically I just added a few more interactable objects to act as pins and then it was ready to export. And I soon found out it's really not that easy throwing objects in VR as it is in real life. So after that I started messing around with some of the other features like grabbing objects from a distance. At first I just tested it out with some cubes but then I thought of a better idea. What is the most famous object that comes back to the person when summoned? That's right, Thor's hammer. So I made this. Granted it's still a bit buggy because when it attracts to my hand it goes sideways but it still works. After I messed around with distance grabbable objects I decided to add a gun to the game which could shoot. So I found a simple gun model and started adding the shooting mechanics. And now it looks something like this. So after creating the simple gun mechanics, I started making targets and a whole map that you can go around. So once that was done, it was time to test it out. Alright, although it wasn't the best game, but it was my first experience. Actually, developing a VR game is really fun because every step of the way you would get to test your game physically. And I highly recommend you try it out for yourself. All the tutorials or anything I mentioned in this video are linked in the description below for you guys to check out for yourselves. And while you're there, please subscribe, like and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you for watching and see you later!